Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday morning, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. And we got markets in positive territory to kick things off right now. S&P is positive by about nine points at 32.22. You're looking at a NASDAQ positive by 57, trading at 10,597. Dow positive by 42 points, 26,339. Gold within about a dollar of all time highs right now, up $12 at 1975. You're looking at the silver contract up 19 pennies at 24.49, and we have notes and bonds pretty flat, both of them. Jumping into the VIX this morning, we'll start it off. The VIX 24.94 pulling back. You can see the action from Friday 28.58. This week, as we've held up relatively well, of course, we had a little bit of a sell-off in the market on Thursday. Yesterday, an acceleration towards the end of the day. Taking a look at the S&Ps, we were up as high as about 32.35. You trade down to a low at the end of the day of about 32.08, and we're currently trading 32.23. Lows overnight made at about 1 a.m. Eastern time of 32.04. Okay, jumping into what we have going on, a big day of action today. It's Fed Day. We get a statement at 2 p.m. from Powell, all but expected expected that they will stay the course on the rate and so forth, but what are they going to talk about in the future and what will they do to help the economy and the labor market as we deal with tens of millions of unemployed people? He's got a press conference later this afternoon. Should be interesting. Look for the market to calm down a bit ahead of that 2 to 2.30 p.m. time frame when they wait for that news. Mortgage rates. So, Jump into the headline, lower weekly mortgage demand hints at a possible pullback for the first time. We had mortgage applications to purchase a home 2% lower last week than the previous week. The average contract interest rate for the 30-year fixed mortgages with a conforming loan balance remain unchanged at 3.2. However, the FHA-backed loans mortgage rates jumped to 3.27 from 3.13. And getting into it, that caused quite a pullback there. That led to much larger drops in applications for FHA loans to refinance and purchase FHA loans. Popular with first-time home buyers, so not really happening when those rates are going up there. Earnings in a big way, Boeing. How about a net loss of $2.4 billion and slows aircraft production. They're dealing with 737 MAX just piling up as they can't sell those. And Shopify charging higher to all-time record highs. How about increasing their revenue 97% last year? And beating, they took in about 717 million. Market was looking for like 500 million. They hit 1104 this morning for Shopify and Boeing shares. Up a bit right now at 174. Stay tuned for Larry Pesamento, folks. He's coming up next. 